Hello, I'm State Representative Ryan Ahmet of the 41st District in Lancaster County. I enjoy many aspects of my job as a lawmaker. However, one of my favorite tasks is to talk with our young people about democracy and how laws are made so they can develop an appreciation for our government. I also hope that they're inspired to participate in it one day by voting, lobbying for an important cause, or even running for elected office. One tool I use to get young people thinking about state government is the annual There Ought to Be a Law contest. Today, I'm pleased to have the most recent winner of this contest, Paige Flinchball, joining me today. She's 10 years old and attends Central Manor Elementary School. Paige, thank you today for joining me. What grade are you in at uh, Central Manor, and what grade uh, will you be going into next year? Um, I just finished fourth grade in Mrs. Pyatt's room, and I'm going into fifth grade in Miss Weidman's room. That's excellent. Now this year when you were in fourth grade, um, you learned about my There Ought to Be a Law contest. Can you tell, how did you learn about the contest and why did you decide to, uh, to enter an essay? Um, well, at first, Mrs. Pyatt, she just um, mentioned it as something extra to do and uh, nobody really like stepped up and said, I'll, um, I'll do it. So then she decided just for practice, um, we would all make a draft, and then the kids that wanted to could enter. And you submitted an essay that um, proposed legislation that would require 30 minutes of exercise twice a week, of physical um, health and physical exercise twice a week during the school year. Um, how did you come up with that idea? Um, well, in school one year, um, one year at least, it might be now, but one year at least, the um, sixth grade got cut off. They only had one gym class every six day cycle and it was replaced for technology. Mm. And um, like some of my um, other friends' schools, they only had like 15 minutes of gym gym or physical education once a week and they didn't have a lot mm. of it. And, and in your essay that you submitted to me, and you submitted a wonderfully written essay uh, in which you um, made the case for the need for, for the physical health um, and uh, exercise twice a week, you talked about the problem of childhood obesity. Um, what made you aware of that problem? Did you do any research into um, that issue? Is it something that you talk about at home with your family, healthy eating and exercise? Well, um, for reading, we, we split up for reading. So I went into with Mr. Malik, the vice principal, um, for reading with a bunch of other kids. And we did a lot of um, like reading little stories and true stories too, and then answering questions about them. And one of them was um, about obesity mm. and that America was one of, was the most, had the most obesity numbers in the world. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, you submitted a, a winning essay. Our staff um, and I had the opportunity to read and review them. And today, because you won this contest, we brought you here to Harrisburg and you were able to take a tour of the state capitol. Uh, we had lunch together. We were able to actually draft your legislation yeah. in, uh, in actual uh, LRB form, the Legislative Reference Bureau form. Um, just as if you were introducing it here as a member, and then we're going to provide you a copy of this for you to be able to take home. What during your tour today was there anything that you thought was of, of great interest? What was the most interesting part of the tour here um, at the state capitol today? That everything that was um, that was like that you might have thought was painted gold is actual gold. Yeah. Everything was gold. Yeah. I, I think the uh, for those that haven't had the opportunity to visit here at the state capitol, it's well worth a visit and we're happy to uh, give folks a tour here. But the, the architecture and the art um, is just is just beautiful to see and I'm glad that you and your family were able to, to visit with us here today. So you're going into the fifth grade. Are you excited about the upcoming school year? Yeah. Good. What, um, what do you think you may want to do when you graduate from, uh, you're in the Penn Manor School District, so when you graduate from Penn Manor and I imagine go on to college, do you know what you want to do? Um, 
I don't know. I haven't really decided on like one thing. Mm -hmm. think, what are some of your interests? Um, I think it would be cool to be an architect. I think. Um, I also think it'd be cool to be a mechanical engineer. I like the idea of like designing roller coasters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you have a lot of diverse interests, and I really appreciate you taking the time um, to be part of the process. Do you ever think you may want to do this someday? Maybe run for office and serve an elective office and maybe work here in Harrisburg? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, we appreciate your time, and thank you and your family for visiting us today. That's all the time we have for today's program. I'm State Representative Ryan Ahmed. If you're a teacher and would like me to visit your classroom, or if you would like information about the next There Ought to Be a Law contest, please feel free to contact me at my local office or through my website. The information will be shown in a moment. Thanks for watching, and please join me next time.